Hello brothers and sisters! Maraming salamat po muli sa pag i nyo po sa amin para po sa staff devotional na ito. And we would like to express our gratitude po kay Elder Norman C. Insong, ang ating Area 70 assigned for 2021 FSY, Gapan, and Gimba session for Kabanatuan Mission. Yes, and uh, we know that 22 days na lang, no? We know how you feel right now. Yes, uh, alam namin yung feeling na yan. Kinakabahan, o kaya naman excited. Mixed then, emotions. Yeah, mixing emotion. But don't worry, don't worry. We know that you are prepared para sa event na ito. Uh, napakaganda at napakalaging event ito. And we know for sure na maraming mababago sa buhay ng mga youth. And of course, including you. Kamakailan lamang po, brothers and sisters, no? Napanood natin ang groundbreaking ceremony na pinangunahan ni Elder Wakolo. Yung kauna-unahang FSY camp sa Tanay Rizal dito sa Asia. Dito, lalo na, ginawa ito sa Pilipinas. And while watching that, habang ginagawa nila yung groundbreaking, naalala namin yung team natin. Yung a great work ngayong taon na ito. Na so, makikita natin sa... Doctrine and Covenants, section 64, verses 33 to 34. Wherefore, be not weary in well-doing, for ye are laying the foundation of a great work, and out of small things proceedeth that which is great. Behold, the Lord requireth the heart and a willing mind. Yes. And we think of you, dear leaders, dear staff. You are laying the foundation of these future leaders of the church. And we know for sure, kasi the experience namin yan. Karamihan sa mga FSY participants na umatend during our FSY, sila ay leaders na ngayon kasi natapos na ang kanilang mga mission. And we know for sure after 5 years to 10 years from now, they are our bishops, our state president, leaders who will lead us, who will lead our generation. Kaya truly, you are laying the foundation of this great work, preparing them to serve on the mission, be a great leader, a, a great mom, a great dad. Yes, and leaders in the community. Of course, yun yung pinakamahalaga. So, this great work is the work of salvation and exaltation. And we know that if we are in the Lord's work, we are entitled to His help. Diba? If we are in the Lord's errand, we are entitled to His help. Yes, and we are always here ng mga leaders. Kayo, of course, na i-guide natin sila through the guidance of the Spirit. We are guiding them to their covenant path na tinatawag. Mm -hmm. Yung recent message ni Elder Stevenson and his wife, during the young adults devotional yes. really had an impact on me because uh, we know that as members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints particularly as FSY leaders we are gifted gifted with the companionship of the Holy Ghost katulad nga ng mga pioneers natin we can sing with them happy day all is well in the midst of the challenges and the afflictions it is possible because of our gospel perspective. We see things invisible to others. So we can do all things, lalo na ngayon na we are laying a foundation of this great work. Yes. So, um, brothers and sisters, it is important na we are really prepared in helping this youth, this young generation, for them to be prepared to lead us in the future. And Naalala ko yung message or yung quote from Prophet Harold Billy when he said, You cannot leave another soul until you are standing on a higher ground than he is. You cannot light a fire in another soul unless it is burning in your own soul. Close quote. Napakahalaga na as leaders of the church, tayo na mga leaders ngayon, we need to be an example in living the Christ-like attributes. I know it's really hard, talaga, but we know for sure that Heavenly Father knows each and every one of you, and He knows your strength, even your weaknesses. But ati silang nandyan to guide and help us in our choices on the things that we do in life. 
yeah, talking about the gospel perspective, we see a clearer vision of uh, the things ahead of us. No, so as we go further sa ating covenant past, we'll see more kung ano yung in store for us. But sometimes, while walking in that past, yung daan ay magiging foggy, we can get scrapes and bruises, sometimes we lose balance, or we experience failures, we can always get back or stand up through the atoning sacrifice of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah, naalala ko rin during the conference, yung sinabi ni Prophet Russell M. Nelson, The gospel of Jesus Christ is a gospel of repentance. Because of the Savior's atonement, His gospel provides an invitation to keep changing, growing, and becoming more pure. So, the gospel of Jesus Christ is the gospel of repentance, and it will help us to come back again in the covenant path if we feel like malayo na tayo sa covenant path. Okay? So, also, we can help these youth who are um, moving towards our Heavenly Father. Kung sila ay na- nailayo o lumayo sa covenant path, then we need to help them and we need to remind them that the gospel of Jesus Christ is the gospel of repentance and it is an invitation to everyone. And we know that as you do all these things, this great work, you, the Lord will increase your opportunities. Your vision will be expand, expanded and He will strengthen you. Yes. And we would like to take this opportunity then to congratulate you, okay? We congratulate you for the great work that you have done at yung mga mangyayari pang mga uh, event or yung gagawin nyo this coming FSY. Congratulations and thank you for your great service and example not only in the church and even in your community right now, especially during this time of pandemic. Thank you sa mga examples nyo na ginagawa nyo both online and offline. We would like to uh, conclude this by sharing our testimony that we know that Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ live. They love each and every one of us. And would testify that our leaders, they are called of God. We have a living prophet who directs and even inspire us this day. And you have your leaders who will help you. So calling you right now, if you feel like overwhelmed, nandiyan si Elder Insong, nandiyan si Brother and Sister Balaba, your session directing couple, and your, of course, local leaders, your bishop and state president. We know that they are called of God. Again, we love you and thank you. And we want to share these things. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen.